what happened to Rachel in 2003, uh, that collectively uh, they will agree that there was damage done, uh, severe damage done to Rachel. There's several individuals with the Israeli government that were uh, personally kind to us. When Rachel was killed, uh, there was a consul general from the West Coast that called us and offered condolences, but he later made clear that that was just personal. That wasn't from the government itself. We've seen things that the government of Israel has shown to members of Congress, to our embassy, and they are outright lies. And I know that Prime Minister Sharon, for instance, told President Bush that there would be a thorough, credible, and transparent investigation into Rachel's killing. And it's not just my opinion, but it's still the opinion of the U.S. government that that never happened. We've been through many different phases of this case. And uh and so I, I think that things could have been done differently. I think there was no responsibility taken. Uh, all along, Rachel has been blamed for her own killing without looking at the responsibility of all the uh, parties involved in the military and so forth. I looked at the time on the internet to see if maybe she could go somewhere else, to India or someplace, because we had family in India. It was very important to her to do meaningful work in her life, and I couldn't not want that for her. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of the way that she um, tried to work with people here and in in Gaza to uh, save their dignity, to save their homes. When Rachel was here, it was extremely violent, both here with suicide bombings, but down in Gaza where all the homes were being destroyed.